And hello once again, it is me, it's me, the big dog Roman Reigns, and I have come back to this channel to be, well, me. Why are you still from The Rock now? I mean, I know he's your cousin. Oh, wait, no, he's not. He's our fake cousin. Why are you guys steal from him? Because he's the great one. But I don't think he would approve of this. Why not? He helped me win the Royal Rumble. True, but did you see his reaction when he when he raised your hand? He looked so sad and confused. And it was so bad that at WrestleMania 32, he didn't even show up to congratulate you. Well, he's just a phony. I'm the real Samoan. I am the face of the company. I'm pretty sure that's still John Cena. Well, is he here? No, he's not. So I am the new face of the company. Well, there's going to be a whole bunch of guys who are going to dispute that claim. You know what? Forget it. We're reviewing. Well, today, we're going to be reviewing the last lies. Um, Shrek movie. At least the last in the current series, I think. I don't know. Shrek for ever after why well, gotta be a stupid little kids movie why can we do something darker well you should have been here a bunch of episodes ago we did a whole bunch of dark stuff now you're here and you're just gonna have to look at this well i guess i'm just gonna have to do that hold up a minute oh no please don't tell me it is yes it is i i have returned from another hiatus because mainly, it's a kid's movie, and second, you hurt my husband! And I'm not allowed to stand me upright! Well, it's kind of hard, you're not like the others, in terms of the way you designed. Yeah, you will not disrespect me or my husband! I will make sure he still remains on the channel! Steph... Why would you do this? You know what's gonna happen. He's going to spear you into oblivion. Please, he wouldn't do that. He already did it once at WrestleMania. I mean, they went as far as him to spear you just so he could get like a face pop. Well, he wouldn't be stupid enough to do it again. Oh, I guess I am. Oh my gosh. Roman, I do not condone, condone this. She, she had a family. Or has a family, and part of her family's right there. Well, I guess she's just gonna sleep it out. So let's just get to know. You are my wife again. That's it. Oh, yeah. Let's just get to the review before things get really messy. Hello, people, of YouTube, and I know what an intro, right? It is I once again, the Malik Aaron Aaron. As I already said, I'm gonna be reviewing. Shrek Forever After. And I'm pretty sure you all know my opinions on the Shrek movies by now. Love the first one. Love the second one. Hate the third one. And now we're up to here. And so the movie, it's basically with Shrek. It's basically, he's in his happily ever after stage, aka in real life, the midlife crisis stage. Uh, where... He's kind of like in a cycle, as it's shown in the beginning of the movie. He's kind of in a cycle of doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And like he wants to go back to the good old days where he was all scary and mean and was just by himself. Him and him only. And so uh, he has to, get to go to his uh, kid's uh, birthday party. And that's where you see his blood pressure rise to the extreme. I mean, he has to deal with a whole bunch of stuff. That's deal with a cake that just looks terrible. Well, it doesn't look terrible. He just he thinks he just doesn't like the design. He has to deal with a whole bunch of amnos uh, amnos ugh, sorry animosity, especially this kid. This kid was kind of really hilarious. Like his his dad's like, can you do the ogre roar? And then, because I do the roar. Um, and then, he's just showing no fear by saying that. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, kid. This kid, this kid's a savage. Shrek, you need to teach him a lesson. 
And then, like, a whole bunch of other stuff, like, the cake gets licked, and then it gets eaten, and all the other cakes get eaten by the pigs, and then there's a whole bunch of noise, and then the wolf, for some reason, decides to blow balloons, even though it has sharp teeth. That wouldn't work. And then it just goes to a point where he just roars like crazy, and then an ultimate moment of blood pressure just boiling, like he just smashes the cake by everybody, and everything just goes dead silent. And then he he runs out. Well, he doesn't run out. He just storms out. And then he and Fiona have a little argument, and then where he basically says it would be better if I didn't rescue from the castle. And whatnot, so that's what happened there. And then we meet Rumpel Stiltskin. And no, it's not the Rumpel Stiltskin you saw in Trek the Third, because you missed that moment. It's a different one. Like, he wants. Well, like, him and Shrek, like, have, like, an art. Well, not have a conversation. And then Rumpel Stiltskin. But makes him agree, like, to, like, if you really want to have your old life back of being, like, a real ogre, then you got to sign this contract. But little did Shrek know, once he signed the, signed the contract, he realized that where, like, the part where he was, like, where he is, he was never born. Like, nothing happened. Like, uh, all the events from the first, second, and third, and beginning of the fourth never happened. So, we have some, it gets to some pretty interesting, um, stuff. And, like, the Ruffle Skill Skin all, um, uh, just owned, I guess, far, far away. You can see all the other characters, they're not as, like, they're, they're quite different. Some of them become warriors, like Fiona. She becomes, like, I guess the Xena. Uh, I'm trying to think of a good comparison. Uh, Buffy the Vampire. Well, not Buffy the Vampire Slayer. One of those female warriors that was in, like, a TV show. I forget her name. She looks kind of like that. And, and Lizzie... Shrek knew he had a whole bunch of ogre people, just a, a whole bunch of ogres around. And then he learns a new trick, like if they do this and then they blow, then it gets like a little like trumpet sound. And Shrek's like, he didn't realize he could do that. And also he meets Donkey, who's kind of like a, I guess you could say a stray. And then... And, of course, Donkey loves waffles, so it was because of those waffles that him and Shrek got into Ogreland. And then, uh, Puss in Boots. He's not the Puss in Boots you remember. Instead, he's fat. He's literally become Garfield. And, like, all pampered. He's he's become, yeah, as I just said, he just became Garfield. And then... The way that Shrek can solve all this is if him and Fiona fall in love again and have like a true love's first kiss, just like the first movie. And at first, she's like, I don't like you. Me, you're weird. How do you know all this stuff about me? And then after a while, they start to know each other again and love each other again. Before, like, the big climax where he has to fight Rumble Stiltskin, fight all his army, of all, a whole bunch of army of witches. And Shrek, like, goes to Fiona and just says, like, blah, 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 romantic stuff. And then he just disappears into dust. I'm just like, wait, what? And then once that sun rises, as you know from the original movie, at night she becomes an ogre, but in during the day, she uh, becomes just a normal human. But, he, but after that, like she still stays the same, and then everything goes back to normal. So this movie, it's definitely not the greatest. It's far superior than Shrek the Third in a lot of ways. One, the plot's far more simple. There's not so many plots just all around, like here, 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 here. It's just one direct plot. I appreciate that. It's not as overstuffed as last time. 
Uh, I guess since so, so there's a lack, well, the, all the characters are still there except Artie for some reason. He just vanished. I guess Justin Timberlake didn't want to do another one, so they're just like, you know what, just forget Artie. It's not about him, it's about Shrek. So, after that, um, let's see, all the cat voice cast is good, as you would expect. I mean, it's a Shrek movie. Animation looks good, I mean, that's bound to happen, certain the advances in technology. Um, what else? Uh, the characters are a bit more likable than uh, Shrek the Third. Now you don't have all those supporting characters running around. You have the main four again. Uh, it's actually quite nice. And there are some legit funny moments in this movie, unlike Shrek the Third, where it has a bunch of cringe moments. This actually has some decent moments of humor. Uh, but still, it's just it, it's just not as good as the first two. Those first two had a certain charm to it that clicked with a lot of people. I mean, they were super adult. And that's why uh, adults could just look at it and laugh and they can get jokes that kids don't get. And all a bunch of pop culture references that are pretty funny. But here, it kind of doesn't have that, which is a bit odd. I guess they kind of over, over blew it. And, uh, the the third and uh they, this movie it's well there are two technically you could say two titles to this movie there's Shrek Forever After and then there's Shrek the Final Chapter and I'm just gonna go with Shrek Forever After because it sounds better but I guess for a final chapter spoiler alert it's not the final chapter it's gonna be a fifth Shrek movie so, good job, internet. Thank you for making the Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life meme the biggest thing ever. Now we're getting Shrek 5. Um, yeah, for a original farewell, it was okay. I mean, it didn't completely drop the ball, but it still didn't end on a super high note. So, in the end, I thought this movie was just okay. I enjoyed it a lot more than the third, but less than uh, the first and the second movies. Uh, this movie's kind of middle of the road for me in terms of like DreamWorks movies. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. Uh, would I recommend this to some people? I guess. If you're a huge Shrek fan, then yeah. If you like animation, if you just want us a simple animated comedy, then you'll like it. But overall, it's just kind of a mixed bag. It's be it's a lot better than the third, but still not all, not all that great. So that's the end of that. Now we're going to get to this conflict between Roman Reigns and Triple H. Just because Roman Reigns decided to show up and ruin this show for not just me, but for all of you. So blame him. So let's just get to the fighting, I guess. All right, guys. Wait, where are you two? Where, where the heck? Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, oh! The heck? This isn't even a match. Nope, it's just a fight. Oh, Triple H, I can help you out. You want to move you out the way? Sure, just move it to the bit. Here I come! Oh no! Why you keep moving him? Oh! This was a gift for spirit, my wife. Oh! Oh no! No! Oh my! Oh my gosh! All right, now he's gonna feel the pain. Just get him, bring the right position. There we go. It's gonna feel the pain of this backbreaker. Oh, well, that won't affect him because he's wearing that vest. Darn, you're right. I guess I'll just. Just. I don't even know. Oh my gosh, I think you hit him right in the head. The heck are you doing? You know what I'm doing. No, no, Triple H, it's too violent. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
Oh. Now, let's get a good, good old fashioned pedigree from me. What the heck? Oh. Superman. Oh. Roman, you're such a fan. You didn't even land it. No. We'll do it again. Superman. Oh, right in the face. Now he's going to get a Samoan drop. Oh, well, that was really a Samoan drop. Man, be quiet. Now he's going to get a kick of doom. Oh, my gosh. You can hear that all the way from, I guess, the room. And now he's going to get a power bomb from the... I guess the sky. Oh, right in his, right on his neck. And now Triple H, as my ultimate revenge, he gonna get the spear of a lifetime. No way, Robin, stop. Oh, well, Triple H, I thought you were supposed to be giving him the bidding. I was, but they reversed that pedigree. Here I come again. Oh. I think I think he's knocked out a bit. Here's your chance, Triple H. I know. Oh my goodness! Right in the schnauzer. That's good guess, Spawnbuster. Oh. Now he's good. Get... Better agree. Oh my gosh! Another good measure. Oh. I guess that's it. You you won. I. I guess. I mean, it wasn't really a match, but you won the fight. I guess so. So what's our next review? Because that fight wore me out. Our next review will be an X-Men movie. Which one? It won't be the third one. I won't come for a little bit. It's going to be a Wolverine movie, to be specific. X-Men Origins? No! Not yet. Then what is it? The one where he's in Japan. Oh, the Wolverine. Oh, I can't wait for that. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Robin, how do you get up? Oh! Now, he's going to, I guess, pay the price. Just, oh, jeez. This guy get in position for him. Hold him right there. Brilliant. Now he's gonna go through this table. Down here. No, Roman. Stop. Oh. The. Oh my gosh. That is it. That is all, folks. We are out.